This is the strategy that I'm going to use to become an FCP or Fortinet Certified Professional. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction about the FCP certification, uh, the different exams that exist inside this certification level, uh, which exams I plan to take, what are the exam requirements for each of these exams, how much the exams cost, and which resources I'm going to use to pass on those exams. Now, if you're new to Fortinet certifications, you have to understand that there are different levels. You have FCF, that's the introductory one, and then you have the FCA, you have FCP, FCSS, and Fortinet Certified Expert or FCX. So there are no pre-requirements to take or uh, start one of these levels. It's up to you, depending on your level of confidence, to uh, take one of these uh, certifications. Now, the one that I plan to take is FCP in Network Security Certification. So in order to become an FCP, there are two exams that I have to pass. And they are considered to be one as the core exam, meaning this is mandatory to become an FCP. And then you have one elective exam because there are different exams inside this, let's say this track, okay? Okay, these are the exams available inside FCP Network Security. So recall that we have two exams. We need to pass two exams. One is the core exam that's going to be the FCP FortiGate Administrator. And then you have the elective exams that you have all these different options. So I'm going to start by talking about the elective exams. Which ones do I plan to take? Now, I might take between the Fort Analyzer or the Fort Manager. And the reason is quite simple. You see, most of the companies that I work with, uh, they either have multiple Forty Gates, multiple Forty Managers, multiple Forty Analyzer, but not so many as the other products of Fortinet. So that's the reason I'm going to choose between Forty Analyzer or Forty Manager. And probably I'll make another video uh, by the time that I plan to take this exam or after passing one of these exams. Now the core exam, FCP FortiGate Administrator, that's going to be the main topic, if you will, inside this video, because that's the first one that I'm going to take. And so to become an FCP, each exam will cost you around $200. Now it depends on where you're located because in some uh, exams, they might add some tax on the last payment, but it's going to be, it costs around $200 uh, for each exam, which means that totally, totally it will cost you $400. There are no pre-requirements to take none of these exams. So you can start by taking the core exam or the elective exam, and you don't have to be pre-certified on, let's suppose, FCA or FCF to take one of these exams. So let's just focus on FortiGate Administrator for now. So to take the FortiGate Administrator, so it's going to have around 50 questions and the exam time is going to be 90 minutes. Because uh, Portuguese is my native language, so I might have some extended time. Normally that's what happens. So probably a couple of 20 or 30 minutes. So I might have additional time there. And so then we might take a look. I'm going to choose English, obviously. Uh, not Japanese, uh, neither French. And so let's take a look at the exam description. What do I expect to see in the exam? So once I pass this exam, the FCP, uh, the FortiGate Administrator, I'm going to be assigned a badge. So this is a badge just any look. Uh, this guy, this is a professional who understands anything about FortiGate. Okay. So essentially that's what's going to see if I'm out of frame. I hope that you guys can see that. So this exam is actually required in multiple tracks, as you can see the uh, public cloud security and also security operations. Okay, so let's take a look at the exam topics. So what do you expect to be tested on? What do I expect in this case? So successful candidates, as I'm going to be, uh, they have applied knowledge and skills in the following areas. So I'm not going to read all of it, but I'm going to share this in the video description. 
but essentially you should be able i should be able to deploy uh, a 40 gate deploy ha uh, diagnose resource and connectivity problems deploy uh, firewall rules with police authentication fsso vpns uh, remote access vpns and also site site vpns sd1 so i believe that's essentially what it is now as for training resources okay so fortinet they have here some options there is the fortigate administrator course okay and they have the fortigate administrator course hands-on lab so these are different resources i'm going to show you in a minute additionally we have or i'm going to use the administration guide and also new features guide based on my experience i'm going to use additional resources outside of fortinet environment uh, such as flashcard from uh, quiz labs or enki or any other source that i might find useful on the internet additionally i'm going to build my own labs um, to get the 40 os image you can get it for free on fortinet uh, you don't need a support account and you can also um, deploy it and install a permanent license. I shared a video here on the channel some time ago on how to do it. So this way I'll be able to use um, a lab topology that lasts longer. Now, if we take a look here at the experience, so this is not a mandatory requirement. So they're not saying that you need to have uh, one to two years of experience, okay? But if you have some experience, especially with networking infrastructure, firewalls or FortiGate, that should be useful because it's going to be easier for you to pass the exam. In my case, I have over a decade of experience with networking security. So I'm yeah, pretty comfortable with this in passing this exam. They also have uh, some sample questions and I'm going to show you in a minute. So they're going to be very useful to uh, deploy or apply them on Anki or Flashcard or Quizlet uh, to assess how comfortable I am uh, by answering or by before taking the exam. You see, one thing is to know how to deploy the technology to enable the feature, but um, what Fortinet expects from this exam is whether a professional is able to understand and explain in which situation he should be using a specific feature or deploy the FortiGate or the Fortinet solution in such a way. But in this case, more precisely on FortiGate. Okay, so it's not just about doing, doing the thing, but it's also understanding why you are doing the thing in the first place. And so by having those questions, uh, they're going to be sample. I believe there are 20 or something questions. They are helpful. Okay, so there is nothing more to cover here. So let's go back to the previous page. And the big question is how do we get started? Okay, so if we take a look inside the FCP network security, we have different, uh, let's suppose courses inside this track and the one that we want is the fcp FortiGate administrator self-paid so that's the training and these are the sample questions so i'm going to open these two in another tab and let's take a look so that's not the one that should be the one so that's the FortiGate administrator course so here we can see the topics for this uh course so system network settings, firewall policy net, and all of these, the same things uh, as I, I covered before. Now, after completing this course, that's what uh, Fortinet expects uh, me as a candidate to be comfortable with, okay? Now, there are no pre-requirements, again, to take this course. You can take this course for free. And most important is that you can choose to take the course by yourself or to pay an instructor led classroom. Now, in my case, I plan to take the course by myself because I'm pretty comfortable on studying for this exam. And this is also one of the reasons why I plan to take this exam is that I plan to deliver this FCP 48 administrator training on my platform, uh, slicercarvalho.com. So by taking the exam, I'll be able to better customize my training. 
okay so this is what is going to see as for topics as for uh the different options to access the training material so let's take a look at the content directly from fortnet so in order to get access we're going to enroll now and we're going to choose public and we're going to provide our username and password okay this is the fortgate administrator course and here we can see the lessons so there are 15 lessons and here we have the 40 gate administrator questions we might take a look at in a moment now it says that it might take you around uh, 12 hours plus live hours 20 22 hours now in my case i plan to uh, allocate it at minimum two hours per day and plus on the weekends so that I, I might reserve around uh four to five hours because i like to uh not only getting the concept the theory but also building labs rebuilding labs destroying labs so this might take a lot of time uh but i believe that by the end of this month i'll be able to i consider myself as ready to take the exam now let's just take a look at one of the lessons so, so you have an idea of what you expect and i'm going to disable the sound on this one because that's going to be noise okay i want to resume and just disable this so these are essentially the lessons so this is a video and there is someone explaining and you can read all the chapters here you have a knowledge check this is like a, an assessment and if you want this is there are also the notes here that you can read in case you don't want to listen to this uh, person speaking all the time okay now let me go back to previous page and once you feel comfortable you can take the Adam say the simple questions now this is going to be pro tip for me from me uh, I like to start with the questions because this way I can immediately know which uh, areas I should focus or invest more time on so for example let's open this one because I already did this exam so 22 questions uh, let's open this do I have yeah we'll have to take this so for example uh, we have this question so um, if I answer this correct or incorrect by the end what I want to know is how comfortable I am with routing on FortiGate and RPF concepts on FortiGate so this way I won't have to read the the old lesson uh, that focus around 40, uh, FortiGate routing or RPF so I'm just going to focus okay probably uh, I know uh, a lot about uh, administrative distance uh, routing protocols but um, I'm not so comfortable with RPF so this is a strategy that I like to use not only on Fortinet uh, exams but across different vendors and until now it's been working okay and also one thing that I'm going to do is to copy those questions and import into uh, one of the flashcards either Enki or Quizlet because this way I'll be able to just study the questions to remember the questions without uh going through all these procedure to open the lessons so this is a strategy that i use and is a great hint in case you want to know now another strategy that i like to use is to schedule the exam even before completing the lessons or the questions this is just to put more pressure on me to know that look i have to be ready by that date or before that date because i'm going to have an exam okay and to schedule the exam we have we can use here person view test center and here i'm going to log in with my account and i'm going to schedule the exam and this is the strategy that i'm going to use to become an fcp so if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one